I'm Darren Fernandez, the security product manager for Dell Technologies Power Store. Somebody asked me the other day, Darren, why did cyber criminal get away? He then responded, because he ran somewhere. Ransomware? This made me laugh, but having the opportunity to speak with customers almost daily, no conversation ever ends without a customer asking me, so Darren, what can Power Store do to help me protect, detect, and recover from cyber attacks? I'm here today to tell you how we at Dell stop at absolutely nothing to secure and safeguard your most valuable assets on Power Store. As most of you are aware, Power Store is Dell Technologies' next generation enterprise class storage that is highly scalable highly flexible, highly performant, and very, very, very simple and easy to use. Here at Dell, security is part of our DNA. It's baked into every process in our product development life cycle. Security is everybody's responsibility. PowerStore adopts Dell's secure development life cycle that is based on industry standards and we have a shift left approach to security. Let me now show you more about the stringent security of PowerStore. PowerStore is built from ground up on zero trust principles. We look at security holistically from the platform to the identity and access management to the software to the monitoring the protection, the detection, the recovery, and the certifications. Let's now talk about securing the platform. Hardware root of trust. This was pioneered by Dell with the 14G servers in 2017 and is now part of our storage portfolio. This is a cryptographic key that's infused in the silicon, in the hardware, to verify that the firmware images, the BIOS, and the bootloader are not tampered with. This will protect you from attacks along the supply chain as well as post-installation. Dell PowerStore also has the OS, which is signed by Dell. This way, when we upgrade the software on a PowerStore, we always verify that that software was signed by Dell. Next is data at rest encryption. Every customer is concerned that somebody may pull a drive and be able to access their data. We encrypt your data at rest with self-encrypting drives that are using AES 256-bit encryption and are FIP certified. So if somebody steals your drives, they cannot access the data on the drives because they don't have the keys. You can use the own native local key store on a power store and you can also integrate with an external key manager using KeyMip. What's really cool about the power storage is you can do multi-tenancy. Think about this as creating multiple NAS servers and exposing them to different tenants. Think about Coke and Pepsi, right? You don't want Coke to see the recipe of Pepsi and Pepsi to see the recipe of Coke. Think about having finance and legal and operations and engineering all reside on different NAS servers in the same power store array. And this way, they can be set up and configured on their own subnetworks, segregated and in isolation, and there's no data bleed from one tenant to another. Now let's talk about the next layer of protection. Now that we've secured our platform, let's think about how access to the platform is secured. So with PowerStore OS 3.5, we are introducing RSA Secure ID multi-factor authentication. So you will need more than a password to log in to manage the array, but you would also need a token from RSA Secure ID for multi-factor authentication. Dell PowerStore also offers role-based access for different users to have authority to do different actions because not every user needs to do everything. The role-based access is also integrated with LDAP. And finally, for management, all our management traffic is over secure TLS communication. Now that we've secured the platform, 
we've secured the access to the platform, let's look at how we drive innovation through software. With Dell PowerStore software, we can drive innovation and adapt with the market requirements and deliver new features to our customers very quickly. Let's start with snapshots. Dell PowerStore has snapshots today, which are points in time. You could go back to any copy or any point in time when you've accidentally deleted your data or when a bad actor has deleted your data. These snapshots are immutable, which means that they can never be changed. With PowerStore OS 3.5, we're adding another layer of security over this called Secure Snapshots. These are snapshots that can never be deleted. You set a retention time, and as long as that retention time has not expired, nobody from the customer interface can delete that secure snapshot. So if a bad actor gets into your environment, they can do nothing with those secure snapshots. Now you may ask me, what if I change the NTP clock? What if I change the retention time of the secure snapshot? PowerStore makes it in such a way that you cannot do those things. So you cannot manipulate the time for which a secure snap lives on the array. And finally, in terms of software innovation, we integrate with PowerProtect Cyber Recovery. There are a lot of customers who want their data to be available in a clean location, something that is disconnected from their production primary network. This way, they can take a copy, they can isolate it, they can do surgical recovery, they can do forensics, and they can do all this knowing that they are not under attack when their production is under attack. When we have all these layers built in on the platform, the access, the software, we got to monitor things. We got to know what's going on. And Dell PowerStore has tamper-proof audit logs. We can also send these audit logs to a remote syslog server so that customers can manage all their logs centrally. Now I want to talk about Cloud IQ, which is Dell Technologies' cloud-based AI ML solution for proactive monitoring and analytics. Cybersecurity is part of Cloud IQ, and with every power store A, customers can do a cyber assessment of their entire infrastructure, including Power Store. So think of this as we've got policies that are based on NIST guidelines. Do I have data address turned on? Do I have role-based access turned on? Am I using default passwords in my Power Store? And once those policies are set, Cloud IQ Cybersecurity will look at your environment and will indicate the drifts from those security standards that you want to enforce. Remember, when you configure many arrays and there are drifts in your security configuration, that's when a bad actor can get in. And cybersecurity will give you a risk score based on your cyber configuration. And finally, in Cloud IQ, we also have capacity and performance anomalies. And why does this matter? Think about a ransomware attack. Remember ransomware, the cyber criminal? With capacity anomalies, if your data is under a ransomware attack, that means your data is encrypted. If your data is encrypted, it cannot be reduced. If it cannot be reduced, you're going to see a sudden increase in the amount of capacity you're using. So the capacity and performance anomalies will indicate something is going on in your environment, and you can go check it out. Now is the last layer, where we've got all these great certifications. We have the IPv6 US GV6 R1 certification. We also have FIPS certifi certified drives. We have FIPS certified NVRAM. And we are in the process of getting common criteria certification. Now, as of PowerStore OS 3.5, we have done STIG hardening so that the power store meets the most stringent requirements of the US government Department of Defense. To summarize, with all this comprehensive and layered power store security, I want to reinforce that we at Dell will stop at absolutely nothing when it comes to security. And you can sleep well at night knowing that your most valuable assets are secured and protected on Dell Technologies Power Store.